Scottish Rite, the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the northern Masonic jurisdiction in the United States often omits the end, while the English Constitution in the United Kingdom omits the Scottish, commonly known as simply the Scottish Rite, or, in England and Australia, as the Rose Qua, although this is only one of its degrees, is one of several rites of Freemasonry. A rite is a progressive series of degrees conferred by various Masonic organizations or bodies, each of which operates under the control of its own central authority. In the Scottish Rite the central authority is called a Supreme Council. The Scottish Rite is one of the appendant bodies of Freemasonry that a Master Mason may join for further exposure to the principles of Freemasonry. It is also concordant, in that some of its degrees relate to the degrees of symbolic, craft, Freemasonry. In England and some other countries, while the Scottish Rite has not accorded official recognition by the Grand Lodge, there is no prohibition against a Freemason electing to join it. In the United States, however, the Scottish Rite is officially recognized by Grand Lodges as an extension of the degrees of Freemasonry. The Scottish Rite builds upon the ethical teachings and philosophy offered in the Craft, or Blue, Lodge, through dramatic presentation of the individual degrees. The seed of the myth of Stuart Jacobite influence on the higher degrees may have been a careless and unsubstantiated remark made by John Neurthauk in the 1784 book of Constitutions of the Premier Grand Lodge of London. It was stated, without support, that King Charles II, older brother and predecessor to James II, was made a Freemason in the Netherlands during the years of his exile, 1649-60. However, there were no documented lodges of Freemasons on the continent during those years. The statement may have been made to flatter the fraternity by claiming membership for a previous monarch. This folly was then embellished by John Robeson, 1739 1805, a professor of natural philosophy at the University of Edinburgh, in an anti Masonic work published in 1797. The lack of scholarship exhibited by Robeson in that work caused the Encyclopaedia Britannica to denounce it. A German bookseller and Freemason, living in Paris, working under the assumed name of C. Lenning, embellished the story further in a manuscript titled Encyclopedia of Freemasonry probably written between 1822 and 1828 at Leipzig. This manuscript was later revised and published by another German Freemason named Friedrich Mosdorf, 1757-1830. Lenning stated that King James II of England, after his flight to France in 1688, resided at the Jesuit College of Claremont, where his followers fabricated certain degrees for the purpose of carrying out their political ends. By the mid-19th century, the story had gained currency. The well-known English Masonic writer, Dr. George Oliver, 1782-1867, in his historical landmarks, 1846, carried the story forward and even claimed that King Charles II was active in his attendance at meetings, an obvious invention, for if it had been true it would not have escaped the notice of the historians of the time. The story was then repeated by the French writers Jean-Baptiste Ragon, 1771-1862, and Emmanuel Rebold, in their Masonic histories. Rebold's claim that the high degrees were created and practiced in Lodge Canongate Kill winning at Edinburgh are entirely false. James II died in 1701 at the Palace of St. Germain en laye and was succeeded in his claims to the British throne by his son, James Francis Edward Stuart. 1699-1766, the Chevalier St. George, better known as the Old Pretender, but recognized as James III by the French King Louis XIV. He was succeeded in his claim by Charles Edward Stuart, Bonnie Prince Charles, also known as the Young Pretender, whose ultimate defeat at the Battle of Culloden in 1746 effectively put an end to any serious hopes of the Stuarts regaining the British crown. The natural confusion between the names of the Jesuit College of Claremont and the short-lived Masonic chapter of Claremont, a Masonic body that controlled a few high degrees during its brief existence, only served to add fuel to the myth of Stuart Jacobite influence in Freemasonry's high degrees. However, the college and the chapter had nothing to do with each other. The Jesuit college was located at Claremont, whereas the Masonic chapter was not. Rather, it was named Claremont in honor of the French Grand Master, the Comte de Claremont, Louis de Bourbon. Comte de Clermont 1709-1771, and not because of any connection with the Jesuit College of Clermont. A French trader, by the name of Etienne Morin, had been involved in high-degree masonry in Bordeaux since 1744 and, in 1747, founded an Ecosse Lodge, Scottish Lodge, in the city of Le Cap Francais, on the north coast of the French colony of Saint-Domingue, now Haiti. 
Over the next decade, high-degree Freemasonry was carried by Frenchmen to other cities in the Western Hemisphere. The high-degree lodge at Bordeaux warranted or recognized seven Ecosse lodges there. In Paris in the year 1761, a patent was issued to Etienne Morin, dated 27th of August, creating him Grand Inspector for all parts of the New World. This patent was signed by officials of the Grand Lodge at Paris and appears to have originally granted him power over the craft lodges only, and not over the high, or Ecosse, degree lodges. Later copies of this patent appear to have been embellished, probably by Morin, to improve his position over the high degree lodges in the West Indies. Morin returned to the West Indies in 1762 or 1763, to St. Domingue. Based on his new patent, he assumed powers to constitute lodges of all degrees, spreading the high degrees throughout the West Indies and North America. Morin stayed in St. Domingue until 1766, when he moved to Jamaica. At Kingston, Jamaica, in 1770, Morin created a grand chapter of his new right, the Grand Council of Jamaica. Morin died in 1771 and was buried in Kingston. Early writers long believed that a rite of perfection consisting of 25 degrees, the highest being the sublime prince of the royal secret, and being the predecessor of the Scottish rite, had been formed in Paris by a high-degree council calling itself the Council of Emperors of the East and West. The title rite of perfection first appeared in the preface to the Grand Constitutions of 1786, the authority for which is now known to be faulty. It is now generally accepted that this rite of 25 degrees was compiled by Etienne Morin and is more properly called the Rite of the Royal Secret, or Morin's Rite. However, it was known as the Order of Prince of the Royal Secret by the founders of the Scottish Rite, who mentioned it in their circular throughout the two hemispheres or manifesto, issued on December 4, 1802. Henry Andrew Franken, a naturalized French subject of Dutch origin, was most important in assisting Morin in spreading the degrees in the New World. Morin appointed him Deputy Grand Inspector General, DGIG, as one of his first acts after returning to the West Indies. Franken worked closely with Morin and, in 1771, produced a manuscript book giving the rituals for the 15th through the 25th degrees. Franken produced at least four such manuscripts. In addition to the 1771 manuscript, there is a second which can be dated to 1783. A third manuscript, of uncertain date, written in Franken's handwriting, with the rituals 4 to 25 degrees, which was found in the archives of the Provincial Grand Lodge of Lancashire in Liverpool in approximately 1984, and a fourth, again of uncertain date, with rituals 4 to 24 degrees, which was known to have been given by H. J. Wimper to the District Grand Lodge of the Punjab and rediscovered about 2010. Additionally, there is a French manuscript dating from 1790 to 1800 which contains the 25 degrees of the Order of the Royal Secret with additional detail, as well as three other O'Grades rituals, its literary structure suggests it is derived from a common source as the Franken manuscripts. A loge de parfait d'Ecosse was formed on April 12, 1764 at New Orleans, becoming the first high-degree lodge on the North American continent. Its life, however, was short, as the Treaty of Paris. 1763, ceded New Orleans to Spain, and the Catholic Spanish crown had been historically hostile to Freemasonry. Documented Masonic activity ceased for a time. It did not return to New Orleans until the late 1790s, when French refugees from the Revolution in St. Domingue settled in the city. Franken traveled to New York in 1767 where he granted a patent, dated December 26, 1767, for the formation of a Lodge of Perfection at Albany which was called Ineffable Lodge of Perfection. This marked the first time the degrees of perfection, the 4th through the 14th, were conferred in one of the 13 British colonies in North America. This patent, and the early minutes of the lodge, are still extant and are in the archives of Supreme Council, Northern Jurisdiction. The minutes of Ineffable Lodge of Perfection reveal that it ceased activity on December 5, 1774. It was revived by Giles Fonda Yates about 1820 or 1821 and came under authority of the Supreme Council, Southern Jurisdiction until 1827. That year it was transferred to the Supreme Council, Northern Jurisdiction. While in New York City, Franken also communicated the degrees to Moses Michael Hayes, a Jewish businessman, and appointed him as a Deputy Inspector General. In 1781, Hayes made eight Deputy Inspectors General, four of whom were later important in the establishment of Scottish Rite Freemasonry in South Carolina B.R. underscore Isaac da Costa, Sr., D.I.G. for South Carolina semicolon B.R. underscore Abraham Forst, 
DIG for Virginia semicolon BR underscore Joseph M. Myers, DIG for Maryland semicolon BR underscore and Bar and M. Spitzer, DIG for Georgia. Da Costa returned to Charleston, South Carolina, where he established the Sublime Grand Lodge of Perfection in February 1783. After Da Costa's death in November 1783, Hayes appointed Myers as Da Costa's successor. Joined by Forst and Spitzer, Myers created additional high degree bodies in Charleston. Physician Hyman Isaac Long from the island of Jamaica, who settled in New York City, went to Charleston in 1796 to appoint eight Frenchmen, he had received his authority through Spitzer. These men had arrived as refugees from St. Domingue, where the slave revolution was underway that would establish Haiti as an independent republic in 1804. They organized a consistory of the 25th degree, or Princes of the Royal Secret which Masonic historian Brigadier A.C.F. Jackson says became the first Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite. According to Fox, by 1801, the Charleston bodies were the only extant bodies of the Rite in North America. Although most of the 33 degrees of the Scottish Rite existed in parts of previous degree systems, the Scottish Rite did not come into being until the formation of the Mother Supreme Council at Charleston, South Carolina, in May 1801. The founding fathers of the Scottish Rite who attended became known as the Eleven Gentlemen of Charleston. Subsequently, other Supreme Councils were formed in St. Domingue, now Haiti, in 1802, in France in 1804, in Italy in 1805, and in Spain in 1811. On May 1, 1813, an officer from the Supreme Council at Charleston initiated several New York Masons into the 33rd degree and organized a Supreme Council 4th Northern Masonic District and Jurisdiction. On May 21, 1814 this Supreme Council reopened and proceeded to nominate, elect, appoint, install and proclaim in due, legal and ample form the elected officers as forming the Second Grand and Supreme Council. Finally, the charter of this organization, written January 7, 1815, added, we think the ratification ought to be dated 21st day May 5815. Officially, the Supreme Council, 33 degrees, NMJ dates itself from May 15, 1867. This was the date of the Union of 1867, when it merged with the competing Cerno Supreme Council in New York. The current ancient and accepted Scottish Rite, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction of the United States, was thus formed. Born in Boston, Massachusetts on December 29, 1809, Albert Pike is asserted within the Southern jurisdiction as the man most responsible for the growth and success of the Scottish Rite from an obscure Masonic Rite in the mid-19th century to the international fraternity that it became. Pike received the 4th through the 32nd degrees in March 1853 from Albert Mackey, in Charleston, South Carolina, and was appointed Deputy Inspector for Arkansas that same year. At this point, the degrees were in a rudimentary form and often included only a brief history and legend of each degree, as well as other brief details which usually lacked a workable ritual for their conferral. In 1855, the Supreme Council appointed a committee to prepare and compile rituals for the 4th through the 32nd degrees. The committee was composed of Albert G. Mackey, John A. Chonner, William S. Rockwell, Claude P. Samory, and Albert Pike. Out of these five committee members, Pike did all the work of the committee. In 1857 Pike completed his first revision of the 4 degrees minus 32 degrees ritual, and printed 100 copies. This revision, which Mackey dubbed the magnum opus, was never adopted by the Supreme Council. According to Arturo de Hoyos, 33 degrees, the Scottish Rite's grand historian, the magnum opus became the basis for future ritual revisions. In March 1858, Pike was elected a member of the Supreme Council for the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States, and in January 1859 he became its Grand Commander. The American Civil War interrupted his work on the Scottish Rite rituals. About 1870 he, and the Supreme Council, moved to Washington, D.C. In 1884 his revision of the rituals was complete. Scottish Rite Grand Archivist and Grand Historian de Hoyos created the following chart of Pike's ritual revisions. Pike also wrote lectures about all the degrees, which were published in 1871 under the title Morals and Dogma of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. In 2000 the Southern Jurisdiction revised its ritual. The current ritual is based upon Pike's, but with some significant differences. The 33 degrees of the Scottish Rite are conferred by several controlling bodies. The first of these is the Craft Lodge, which confers the Entered Apprentice, Fellowcraft, and Master Mason degrees. 
Craft lodges operate under the authority of national grand lodges, not the Scottish Rite. Attainment of the third Masonic degree, that of a Master Mason, represents the attainment of the highest rank in all of Masonry. Additional degrees such as those of the Oz are sometimes referred to as appendant degrees, even where the degree numbering might imply a hierarchy. They represent a lateral movement in Masonic education rather than an upward movement, and are degrees of instruction rather than rank. In 2000, the Southern Jurisdiction in the United States completed a revision of its ritual scripts. In 2004, the Northern Jurisdiction in the United States rewrote and reorganized its degrees. Further changes have occurred in 2006. The current titles of the degrees and their arrangement in the Southern Jurisdiction remain substantially unchanged from the beginning. The list of degrees for the Supreme Councils of Australia, England, and Wales, and most other jurisdictions largely agrees with that of the Southern Jurisdiction of Udagas. However, the list of degrees for the Northern Jurisdiction of the United States is now somewhat different and is given in the table below. The list of degrees of the Supreme Council of Canada reflects a mixture of the two, with some unique titles as well. The Osir does have its own distinctive versions of the craft rituals, but most lodges throughout the English-speaking world do not confer them. However, there are a handful of lodges in New Orleans and several other major U.S. cities that have traditionally conferred the Scottish Rite version of these degrees, as do most lodges under the jurisdiction of the Grand Loge Nationale Française. See Chamber of Reflection According to Masonic historian Alain Bernheim, Belgian Masonic scholar Pierre Noel demonstrated in a 2002 paper that the Osric craft degrees derived from the French translation of the Masonic Exposé Three Distinct Knocks, issued in London in 1760. There are records of lodges conferring the degree of Scots Master or Scotch Master as early as 1733. A lodge at Temple Bar in London is the earliest such lodge in record. Other lodges include a lodge at Bath in 1735 and the French Lodge, St. George de l'Observance No. 49 at Covent Garden in 1736. The references to these few occasions indicate that these were special meetings held for the purpose of performing unusual ceremonies, probably by visiting Freemasons. The copy ale cipher, dating from the 1740s says, the rank of a Scottish master is an entirely new invention. The ancient and accepted Scottish rite in each country is governed by a Supreme Council. There is no international governing body. Each Supreme Council in each country is sovereign unto itself in its own jurisdiction. In Canada, whose Supreme Council was warranted in 1874 by that of England and Wales, the right is known as Ancient and Accepted Scottish Right. The Council is called Supreme Council 33 Degrees Ancient and Accepted Scottish Right of Freemasonry of Canada. Canada's Supreme Council office is located at 4 Queen Street South in Hamilton, Ontario. There are 45 local units or valleys across Canada. When Comte de Grasse Tilly returned to France in 1804, he worked to establish the ancient and accepted Scottish right there. He founded the first Supreme Council in France that same year. The Grand Orient of France signed a Treaty of Union in December 1804 with the Supreme Council of the 33rd degree in France. The treaty declared that the Grand Orient united to itself the Supreme Council in France. This accord was applied until 1814. Thanks to this treaty, the Grand Orient of France took ownership as it were, of the Scottish Rite. From 1805 to 1814, the Grand Orient of France administered the first 18 degrees of the Rite, leaving the Supreme Council of France to administer the last 15. In 1815, five of the leaders of the Supreme Council founded the Supreme Conseil des Rites within the Grand Orient of France. The original Supreme Council of France fell dormant from 1815 to 1821. The Supreme Conseil des Alpes d'Amérique founded in 1802 by Grass Tilly and revived around 1810 by his father-in-law Delahogue, who had also returned from the United States, breathed new life into the Supreme Council for the 33rd degree in France. They merged into a single organization, the Supreme Council of France. This developed as an independent and sovereign Masonic power. It created symbolic lodges, those composed of the first three degrees, which otherwise would be federated around a Grand Lodge or a Grand Orient. In 1894, the Supreme Council of France created the Grand Lodge of France. It became fully independent in 1904, when the Supreme Council of France ceased chartering new lodges. The Supreme Council of France still considers itself the overseer of all 33 degrees of the right. Relations between the two structures remain close, as shown by their organizing two joint meetings a year. In 1964, 
The sovereign grand commander Charles Riani, along with 400 to 500 members, left the jurisdiction of the Supreme Council of France and joined the Grand Loge Nationale Française. Because of his resignation and withdrawal of hundreds of members, there was no longer a Supreme Council of France. Riani then reinitiated the 33 degrees of the right in Amsterdam. With the support of the Supreme Council of the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States, he founded a new Supreme Council in France, called the Supreme Conseil pour la France. This was the only one to be recognized by the Supreme Councils of the United States after it was designated in 1970 as the sole authority of the Scottish Rite for France by the Supreme Council of the Southern Jurisdiction, the oldest Supreme Council in the world, at the Baronquilla Conference. France has three different and arguably legitimate Supreme Councils. The ancient and accepted Scottish Rite was established in Romania in 1881 a year after the National Grand Lodge of Romania was founded. On December 27, 1922, the Supreme Council of Scottish Rite of Romania, received the recognition of the Supreme Council of France in 1922, and recognition from the Supreme Council, Southern Jurisdiction of the United States in 1925. Between 1948 to 1989 all of Romanian Freemasonry, including the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite of Romania, was banned by the Communist regime. The Supreme Council of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Romania was reconsecrated in 1993. In England and Wales, whose Supreme Council was warranted by that of the Northern Jurisdiction of the USA, in 1845, the Rite is known colloquially as the Rose Gua or more formally as the Ancient and Accepted Rite for England and Wales and its districts and chapters overseas. Continental European jurisdictions retain the Echo Say. England and Wales are divided into districts, which administer the Rose Qua chapters within their district, many degrees are conferred in name only, and degrees beyond the 18 degrees are conferred only by the Supreme Council itself. All candidates for membership must profess the Trinitarian Christian faith and have been Master Masons for at least one year. In England and Wales, the candidate is perfected in the 18th degree with the preceding degrees awarded in name only. Continuing to the 30th degree is restricted to this will have served in the chair of the chapter. Elevation beyond the 30th degree is as in Scotland. In Scotland, candidates are perfected in the 18th degree, with the preceding degrees awarded in name only. A minimum of a two-year interval is required before continuing to the 30th degree, again with the intervening degrees awarded by name only. Elevation beyond that is by invitation only, and numbers are severely restricted. In the United States of America there are two Supreme Councils, one in Washington, D.C., which controls the Southern Jurisdiction, and one in Lexington, Massachusetts, which controls the Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. They each have particular characteristics that make them different. In the United States, members of the Scottish Rite can be elected to receive the 33 degrees by the Supreme Council. It is conferred on members who have made major contributions to society or to masonry in general. Based in Washington, D.C., the Southern Jurisdiction, often referred to as the Mother Supreme Council of the World, was founded in Charleston, South Carolina, in 1801. It oversees the Scottish Rite in 35 states, which are referred to as Orients, and local bodies, which are called Valleys. In the Southern Jurisdiction of the United States, the Supreme Council consists of no more than 33 members and is presided over by a Grand Commander. Other members of the Supreme Council are called Sovereign Grand Inspectors General, SGIG, and each is the head of the right in his respective Orient, or state. Other heads of the various Orients who are not members of the Supreme Council are called Deputies of the Supreme Council. The Supreme Council of the Southern Jurisdiction meets every odd year during the month of August at the House of the Temple. Scottish Rite of Freemasonry Southern Jurisdiction Headquarters, in Washington, D.C. During this conference, closed meetings between the Grand Commander and the SGIGs are held, and many members of the fraternity from all over the world attend the open ceremony on the 5th of 6 Council meeting days. In the Southern Jurisdiction, a member who has been a 32 degrees Scottish Rite Mason for 46 months or more is eligible to be elected to receive the rank and decoration of Knight Commander of the Court of Honor. KCCH, in recognition of outstanding service. After 46 months as a KCCH he is then eligible to be elected to the 33 degree, upon approval of the Supreme Council and Grand Commander. The Lexington, Massachusetts-based Northern Masonic Jurisdiction, formed in 1813, oversees the bodies in 15 states, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, New Hampshire, New York, Ohio. Pennsylvania, 
Rhode Island, Wisconsin, and Vermont. The northern jurisdiction is only divided into valleys, not orients. Each valley has up to four Scottish Rite bodies, and each body confers a set of degrees. In the northern jurisdiction, the Supreme Council consists of no more than 66 members. Those who are elected to membership on the Supreme Council are then designated active. In the northern jurisdictional recipients of the 33rd degree are honorary members of the Supreme Council, and all members are referred to as a sovereign grand inspectors general. The head of the right in each state of the northern jurisdiction is called a deputy of the Supreme Council. Thus the highest ranking Scottish right officer in Ohio, is titled, deputy for Ohio, and so forth for each state. Additionally, each deputy has one or more actives to assist him in the administration of the state. Active members of the Supreme Council who have served faithfully for 10 years, or reach the age of 75, may be designated active, emeritus. The Northern Jurisdiction Supreme Council meets yearly, in the even years by an executive session, and in the odd years, with the full membership invited. The 33rd degree is conferred on the odd years of the annual meeting. In the Northern Jurisdiction, there is a 46-month requirement for eligibility to receive the 33rd degree, and while there is a meritorious service award, as well as a distinguished service award, they are not required intermediate steps towards the 33 degrees. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.